Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Sunday, December the 2nd. You're looking at the Ludlum 3A Geiger counter. We're hitting what? That's 60 counts per minute right now. Thank you very much for your donations. Um, folks, I've mentioned before here, I live on Vancouver Island right near the ocean. There's no radon gas here build up. You know, I, I've checked the rain several times the uh, last couple of weeks on and off. I haven't gotten anything. Uh, today I have not been able to check the rain, but I will tell you that I have this Geiger counter going on and uh, I mean it's been on, I mean, and it has been going off. Uh, the, the elevations have gone up as high as 100 counts per minute, but on average from 60 to 80 counts per minute. The normal high, by the way, every bar there is 20, so you're looking at 30 right now, it's dropping, there. it's 30 counts per minute. And the average here has been 20 to 40 counts per minute. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm about to show you a couple of clips here from other guys that live uh, elsewhere in uh, Canada, and uh, I'll show you the jet stream. And they're, everyone's picking up stuff here, you know. Okay, um, so this guy here, his name is uh, Lone Wolf. Okay, Lone Wolf of Ottawa, published December second, High Radiation, Ottawa, Canada. I'll leave a link down below if you want to subscribe to him. I'm not going to play the entire clip. I got a few other things I want to show you, folks, as well as the jet stream. Still and again, we are at the YouTube famous drain. I don't know if it shows up in the dark. Okay, he's right about that. The camera sucks in the dark, but if you go to his uh, YouTube channel, I'll leave a link down below here. Lone Wolf of Ottawa. You'll see he takes his videos at the same uh, down the same drain all the time. So it's just that he happens to take this video uh, in the evening in Ottawa, which is a good thing because you know that's uh, you want to wait till after the drain fall, after the rainfall, try and get as much as you can. Okay, so the next clip here is from uh, Firebomb Clipper. I'll leave you a, a link to his YouTube channel. Also, he says December second, 2012, East. Eastern Ontario so he's um, he would be east of the other fellow that I just showed here who was, who was in Ottawa firebomb clippers a little further up the uh, Ottawa Valley anyhow so he mentioned in this video how it had been falling uh, freezing rain you can see some of the snow there actually right up build up near the uh, downspout and um, and then it started to uh, misty rain and um, he's gone out now and decided to check since there is it's not all snow there is a downfall he pulls out his Geiger and boy oh boy yeah Well, they started burning radioactive rubble in Japan, and the jet stream is over my head today, so I'm really not that surprised at what we're getting. December 2nd, 012, 3.10 p.m. roughly, in eastern Ontario. Okay, so he says he's in the jet stream. Let's go check it out here. I'll leave a link down below, you, those of you who want this page. Uh, he starts off his video with this page. It's something I showed a long time ago. I got it there. Thanks to Cliff High here. So basically, you can set up uh, this uh, loop uh, any way you want it. I got it in six-hour increments starting off from uh, as you see zero hour on December 2nd here so I'm just going to pause it right when it gets to that date and I mean uh, that time okay right there I'm going to show you here where they're located that's Lake Ontario 
Ottawa's located roughly about here. That's Quebec. That's Ontario. Ottawa sits right on the border on the Ottawa Val on the Ottawa River. So one of the fellows is located in Ottawa. The other fellow is a little further up the Ottawa Valley, not very much further. They're roughly, I think, about 60 to 100 miles apart at, at best. Anyhow, so I'm going to start this clip here so you can see where the jet stream happens to follow. And after this, I'm going to show you a little... Uh, well, information here that talks about how the radiation, there's more falling out, more of these particles falling out on the fringe of the jet stream. That's correct. Not, I'm not saying there's nothing in the middle of the jet stream. I'm saying uh, there's been a lot of data showing that there's more on the fringe of it. So depending when they went out there or whatnot, and as he mentioned here, there's now radioactive garbage being burnt in Japan. It, it, you know, folks, it, this is nothing more than, a, you know, a big bomb fire that's burning away. And guess where the smoke's going? Straight up into the jet stream, crosses over, rain, when it rains, it pours radiation. It's that simple. This is not tough here. The, you know, you don't need to go to school for 100 years to figure this stuff out. Okay, so I'm going to move this along here. Can someone please send this to, to uh, Dutch Sense? He just sent me a nasty email telling me how I'm, I'm bogus, I'm a fraud, and my radiation readings are wrong. Can you folks please send him th this video or send him some readings, please? I, I don't want to deal with this stuff anymore. Okay, so it's starting over here, December 2nd, right there. Okay, remember how I mentioned Ottawa's right here? Starting over right now, December 2nd, 0, right there. Here we go, 6, 12, 18 hours, December 3rd. Starting back up on December 2nd right now. So you can see here the jet stream has gone right over them and beside them. So there's a good chance they may be picking it up. And I'm going to back up to where I live. I mentioned here I'm on Vancouver Island, right? And you can see how the jet stream been right now is right beside me. It's starting over here December 2nd right there. So it was going over me today. Now it was going on the edge. I'm right on the edge down there, by the way. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you folks. Um, I wish the Geiger counter would be going crazy right now so I could show you some live footage of, you know, something exciting. But I'm, I'm not going to make it up here. It, it is what it is, you know. it's uh, That's it. Okay, now as far as this uh, jet stream stuff that I was talking about, it's, it's written right there, I'll leave you a link, and it has been pointed out before that the fringe of the jet stream is slower moving than the fast center, allowing airborne particles to more easily fall out from there. Okay, and this is taken from the radiation network. Okay, it's on the message. You can find that at, on the front page of the radiation network. You just got to scroll down there and it says messages. Okay, I mean scroll over messages. And I'm also going to leave you a link for another site because I know a lot of you don't have Geiger counters and you want to stay track. The best thing to do is have the radiation network and the online Geiger counter uh, nuclear radiation detector map. There's not as many people out there. However, you know, it's best and they're both read in uh, different readings. So you'll have to go to the site uh, and read up on it. And those of you who live in British Columbia, there's a guy in Revelstoke and in Kamloops, as well as myself, as I mentioned here on the island. So if there's ever anything that goes up, and I'm about to go on another radiation tour right <laughs> within next week or so, but whatever, I'm just doing it on the island. And uh, so I'll, I'll be uploading some stuff here and doing uh, more background level checks of uh, past cities that I've done on Vancouver Island. Anyhow, I'll be uploading that as we go, folks. And uh, like I said, I'll leave you a link here for uh, this radiation map in case you don't have it. Take care.